Hey everyone, Coach Jonah here from Zelias Aerial Arts. Today I wanted to give a little intro to Balance Wire 101 class that is something that you all could do at, how, at your house while we're all stuck inside right now. I'm going to be showing some of this on one of the freestanding wires, similar to the wires that we have at Zelias, uh, but this is also something you can do on the ground or, or on the balance beam, if anyone watched that video from last week on how to make a balance beam that we could use at home. So I'm going to quickly go through a few points that uh, I, I want everyone to know before they're getting on a wire, getting on a balance beam to balance. This is what we're going to walk every new student through at Zelias Aerial Arts when they take a wire class with myself or Laura. So what those points are, are focal point, body posture, and what we're doing with our arms. So the most important one is focal point. And what I mean by that is when you are walking on the wire or when you're balancing in general, you want to be looking at a point across from you. No matter what's going on around you, you're going to be staring at that point. That is our focal point. What that helps us do is if our body, if we start to lose our balance slightly, our eyes will help us notice that we're losing that equilibrium a bit and really help us balance. So when you're walking on one, a wire like this, you're going to look all the way across the wire, either at the very front or very, very back of the platform. And now body posture. Another very important part. A lot of the people that are walking wire, you know, a lot of people in the circus community are very flexible and we have a tendency to sink into our arch. We want to avoid this when we're on the wire. So you want to pull your hips under you and push your posture and straighten your spine out so you're pushing everything through the roof of your head. So you really want to stand nice and tall. This will help lock all your body as one cohesive unit and prevent wiggling in your hips. Uh, this is one thing you'll notice if you haven't walked a balance beam, walked a wire before, you're going to want to be doing a lot of balance with your waist or butt, and we don't want to do that. So again, we take, we avoid that by pulling our hips in, we pinch our butt, that helps tighten our waist, and we stand up nice and tall. When we're walking on the wire, our arms are our very first point of balance. So whenever we're starting to feel like we're losing our weight, our balance a little bit, our arms are going to drift to the way that we're falling. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but it actually is right. So if you're, if you're walking on the wire and you feel your weight falling to your left, your arms are going to go to your left. If you're falling to your right, your arms are going to go to your right. And then finally, when we're walking on the wire, how big should our steps be? A lot of people, when they get on the wire, they're going to be taking these tiny little steps where they're stepping on their toes, kind of like my hands are doing here. We don't want to be doing that, and we don't want to be taking these big steps like this where we're falling either. So really, you should just be taking a step that's an inch to three inches of a step when we're starting. Just these small little steps. And carry that same size step all the way into the platform. What I don't want to see is that we're getting super excited, that we're about to cross the wire the first time, and we take a big step like this. Because if you miss, you're going to come down on that platform. It's really not fun. All right, so now with all that information, I'm going to have my handy-dandy assistant, also named Jonah, come on in and help us out. Uh, he, oh. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. Strangers. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yep. Take ten. So he's standing up nice and tall and see if he gets his arms up before he goes. Keep those hips in. And now whenever you're ready. Good. So see how those arms are helping him balance? And you will see he's using his leg to help a little bit too. That's something we're going to talk about here in one minute. Good, John. Standing up nice and tall. We're really trying to watch those hips to make sure we're not balancing too much with our butt. He's keeping that focal point and he's keeping the same size step all the way in to the platform. Good. Now hang there for one second. Um, so as you saw when Jonah was walking there, there was a few times where he took a foot off and balanced in a three-point stance where there's one leg off the wire. This is, when we're walking on the wire, our arms are our first point of balance. Sometimes that's not going to be enough to keep us on the wire. In those situations, you're going to be pulling that opposite foot off the wire. So if you're falling to your left, you're going to want to take your right leg off the wire. If you're falling to the right, you want to take your left leg off the wire. So again, arms up nice and high. He's looking at his focal point, keeping his waist right here nice and tight. Really using those arms to balance, keeping them nice and high. Good, and there is a three-point balance. Let's take two more steps. One, two, and then let's balance on three points. Good. So right here, you'll see when he's falling to his left, his right leg lifts up, and his arms and legs are moving together. You're good. 
Good, and now we're gonna balance on this side too so you can see what this foot towards you. So you'll see how his arms and legs all move together. Good, and when you're balanced, go ahead and 